Hey everyone, it's a Savani sis here again. This is Kashmir, my little sister. And this is Mina, my older sister. And we're here to activate your sukkah, your inner joy. And today we want to talk about the magic of letting go. go. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Kashmir, today what I wanted to talk about was letting go. Now I know that we have talked about this in other videos but it's so crucial because it's actually life changing. It's very transformative and it's not difficult and there's lots of techniques of personal and spiritual growth and getting what you want, manifesting what you want, feeling happy inside but letting go is one of those techniques that it's so simple people don't actually do it. So what do we mean by letting go? Well, letting go means letting go of your emotions. Any emotions that are trapped in your body from the past and any emotions that you're experiencing in the present moment. So you're stuck, trapped, negative energy that's trapped and stuck in your cells and DNA. So let's say you went through a past trauma and you didn't allow yourself to fully feel and experience that trauma and all the emotions in it because it's very painful. So what happens is that those emotions become suppressed and repressed. They stay in your body and it manifests later on in life, sometimes as a physical illness or some behavior patterns or ways of thinking and feeling. When you allow these emotions to pass through you, you no longer are stuck in the past. You've allowed them to let go. It frees you up. You feel lighter in your body. You feel that you can move forward in life. You can feel happier. Lots of things in your life can change. The benefits of letting go, we want to talk about that first. Let's start with the good stuff, right? Yes. Why would you want to do this? Why would you want to practice letting go of your emotions? First of all, it unblocks limitations. So if you have a limitation for anything, whether it's success, it's wealth, it's relationships, it's career, it's health. You are unblocking and releasing that trapped emotion. Once you do that, your life becomes easier. Even manifest things, we're not about manifestation, right? But I wanna include that in because you actually manifest things much more easier in your life. Everything flows much better. Let's say the chi energy in your body flows. Yeah. The second thing is problem solving. So if you have a problem, all the feelings and the frustrations attached to that problem, you can let go of that. When you let go of those feelings attached to the problem, the answer comes to you effortlessly. You don't have to analyze, research, look through things, listen to other people's opinions. The answer comes to you much more easily without any effort. You solve problems quicker. When you let go of limitations around wealth, then wealth flows to you much more easily. Overall, with letting go technique, you experience more joy. Who doesn't want more joy in their life, right? We all want more joy in our lives. More wealth, if that's what you want and that's what you're focused on. More health, so lots of trapped emotions that are released, yeah. actually are released in, in places like your muscles. So if you've got some back pain or some neck pain or some stiffness somewhere in your body, that becomes much more loose and fluid and you released that stuck, trapped, negative energy that was trapped in your cells. You may even release in crying. You may cry for no reason. That's a, that's a sign that you're letting go, that you're releasing yeah. your emotions. So, so what is involved with letting go? Well, first of all, when we have a problem and we talk it through with our partner or with a friend or close person to us, that's a form of letting go because you are releasing to a certain extent, but you might not be releasing fully. That issue might still be stuck in your body in the form of an emotion, but it does help. When you cry as well, crying is also releasing a bit and letting go, but again, you might not fully release. So when you know that you've let go, what will happen is that, and you fully let go, your body will feel lighter, or there may be subtle shifts, or you might suddenly feel extremely relaxed. Sometimes that does happen with a very good cry. After you've had a really good cry about something, yeah. then you feel like, ah, oh, I feel so relaxed yeah. now. <laughs> so so that, 
it shows that you have released something and you release some of the emotion, but you might not have released all of it. So the key thing with letting go is that you do it consistently. You do it throughout your life every single day and it will free you up more and more. And you'll notice a difference, not in years time, not in even months, sometimes as much as a few weeks. And you'll notice that difference, you'll feel lighter, or you may not notice it yourself because you're doing it a bit by bit each day. Other people notice something in you. They'll say, you look different, or there's something different about you. And it's because your energy has changed. You freed up a lot of that stuck energy that was inside your body. And what happens is your life gets better and better and gooder and gooder. You just will not go back because you, you realize that this letting go technique really helps transform your life in all areas of your life. So how do we do it? What's the technique? Well, there's a few different types of techniques. It's no point someone just saying to you, well, just use the letting go technique, just let go. You're like, well, how do I do that? How do I actually let go? What's the process? So I want to recommend a book to you. It's called The Sedona Method. And the Sedona method gives you lots of different ways that you can let go depending on what you're more inclined to be like. So if you're more kinesthetic, you're more likely to connect to a sensation or physical feeling in your body, then that would be the kind of method for you to use. If you're more auditory, you like to hear yourself say certain statements when you let go, then that would be the method for you. Or you could be more visual. So visual means that you can visualize something in your body actually releasing, unwinding and letting go. And so Sedona Method gives you various different techniques to use because the author, Hel Dorskin, who wrote the book, knows that everyone's different and everyone will see the letting go or feel the letting go technique in a different way. I'll just go through one technique with you. One of them is a physical kinesthetic technique. What you do is when the motion comes up, it could be anything. It could be someone cutting through to you in traffic and you get annoyed, you get frustrated. Someone has said something to you at work or a colleague that's pissed you off a little bit. The best thing to do is practice on small things at first and then you practice on the bigger things like past traumas. So firstly, just practice on the little things that someone's pissed you off at work. Now you then become aware of where you're feeling the tension in your body. It could be frustration, it could be anger. So what am I feeling right now? You can name it, you can say frustration or anger or some tension, and then you connect with your body and feel where that tension is. Sometimes a lot of it is in the solar plexus region and people feel it there. Sometimes you could feel it in your back or your neck. So wherever you're feeling it in your body, just hone into that area and let's say if it's in your solar plexus what you do is you put your hands on your solar plexus allow yourself to feel the feeling just feel it you can even welcome it in you can even imagine your arms going out and you're welcoming it in like giving it a hug and welcoming the feeling in and you're just letting it be you're not trying to push it away you're not trying to resist it because what you resist persists so just let it be just be the observer of your emotions and how that sensation feels in your body. Don't analyze it that I'm feeling like this because this person said this to me and they did this. No, you're not analyzing it, you're just allowing the feeling to be there. Then, when you've given yourself enough time to feel the feeling, you can ask yourself this question in your mind that, can I let this go? Can I let this go now? And all you do is you tilt your hand like this, as if you're allowing an opening, let's say that's your skin, you just tilt your hand and you allow that emotion to be released. So it's almost like you're imagining that that emotion is actually coming out of your body and you're releasing it, like a pressure cooker and you just released the, the pressure just a little bit to allow the steam to come out. And that's all you have to do. And the process could be from a matter of a few seconds to maybe a couple of minutes, it's very, very short. The only discomfort is when you have to really go into that feeling and allow yourself to feel that feeling because nobody wants to feel unpleasant feelings in their body. It doesn't feel good, does exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. So it's okay. The discomfort may just last for a matter of a few seconds and that's, mm. that's just it. And then you let it go. And you may not notice a difference at all. You definitely won't feel the anger or the frustration anymore, but you may not feel anything else. You might feel pretty neutral exactly. and that's all right. 
Or it could be a subtle thing, like you just feel relaxed all of a sudden, like you've had a good cry. That's what something that I've experienced, that I just feel so relaxed. Or you might physically feel lighter in the body. It's almost like you were carrying all these heavy rocks on your shoulders and someone's just released them. And you're like, oh, I feel so much lighter. I just feel lighter on my feet. So that could be the sensation. So don't always expect something to show up when you do this technique, but just know that it's working and know that the more you do it and more consistent you are, the more you free up your body. You free up that energy that's been trapped inside of you and then watch your life get gooder and gooder. And better and better. So please do try this technique at home. I've only covered a small bit of the technique. If you want, check out the Sedona Method by Hel Dorskin. It's a transformative, life-changing book, and it gives you practical exercises of what you can do at home. Right now. Right now. At home, at work, wherever where, you are. Wherever you are. It doesn't matter. This it's is the best quiet thing. process. It's a yes, that's it. And it's not limited to a certain time in the day or certain yeah. environment. You can yeah. do it anywhere. anywhere. This yeah. is the most amazing thing about this technique. So please check it out and I hope you liked that little video about letting go. I hope that was a cute little inspiration for you guys. Remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button so this YouTube channel can reach more and more people because people need to know this, okay? Everything we share, especially the Sedona method. So with that said, we'll see you on the next video and bye, bye for now. now.